Okay, let's move on to the back of the camera. We've got a bunch more buttons and dials to cover before we get into the inner workings of the menus. The first in the upper left setting, it's got a little arrow pointing to the right. That's your playback button. Once you've captured an image, you have the ability to review those images on the rear LCD. That's an invaluable tool with digital. Absolutely. Now, people can overuse it. You don't want to use it so much that you're going to miss the action or miss a great shot. But it's a great way of reviewing your image just to make sure that you've captured what you want and that it's sharp and things like that. Let it be a tool in your bag and not a distraction from your work. Good point. I like that. Very nice. The one to the right of the playback button, that's the delete button. And again, a lot of people will delete in camera, which I find to be really a mistake because, as your former boss, Joe McNally, always says, learn from your mistakes. Take them out to lunch. You may not have to take them out to lunch, but basically, if you take a picture that you don't like and is bad, well, there's a lot of XF data information. All the exposure information, the focus point that you used, the shutter speed and aperture is available to you. So rather than deleting in camera, why not take those back, look at the images on your computer screen where you can see them much larger and in better detail, and then if something didn't work right, look at that information and learn from it. The only time that I would delete in camera is if I were running out of card space and I knew that I had accidentally taken some pictures when the camera was down at my side and the president's about to start talking. I need some pictures of that. I'm going to delete the blurry pictures and take pictures of the president. But, you know, for the most part, stick with Lori's advice and don't delete in camera. I'll give you that one. <laughs> you don't want to accidentally delete something that's right. important to you. As you're going to notice, right below the trash can on the delete button, there's another little icon in red that says format. Now, if you push that button all by itself, you're simply going to be deleting images. But if you notice on the top of the camera, right next to the mode button, there's also another red icon that says format. Once you've downloaded your images and you've confirmed that you have those safely in your computer and you're ready to start shooting again, you put the new car your card back in the camera, you push and hold those two buttons simultaneously until you see the word FOR blinking in the top LCD display. Then you take and depress those two buttons a second time and the camera is going to do a clean wipe of all the information that was previously on the card. I strongly recommend formatting your cards every time after use, either in the camera or in the computer, simply just to get rid of any debris or data that was left behind that could later cause problems and corrupt your images. Right. Well, let's keep moving on with the back of the camera. The next setting is the menu setting, and we're going to go in depth to that. But by depressing that button, the menu items come up on the display, and you have the option of cycling through six different menus. The button just below the menu has a little key on it. When you're in the playback mode and you're looking at an image and you think, I really, really like this image and I want to make sure it's never deleted, especially if you have a tendency of deleting in camera, if you depress that button, you can actually lock that image. So there's no way that you'll be able to delete it in camera. That button also has a second purpose. When you're in the menu settings, you see this little question mark. If for some reason you don't remember what that menu option is, and if you see a little question mark in the menu, if you push that button, it gives you a quick explanation of what that function is. It's a great tool. I don't remember every single feature on these things. <laughs> no. Below that, we've got the little um, eyeglass type symbol with a square icon. This is your thumbnail viewing. So normally when you're viewing your images, you get the full screen, which is great because you see more detail. But you can depress that button and activate what's called thumbnail preview. So you see many images. Additionally, if you're in the button just below that, which is the magnification, that's a great tool for checking for sharp focus. If you depress that button in playback and start turning the main command dial, you have the ability to zoom in on your image. And then you can use the multi-selector, which we'll get to shortly, to scroll through the image and see exactly if you've got sharpness, especially like on somebody's eye, which is crucial. Once you've zoomed in, to get back to the full frame screen, you would just simply depress the button above it, dial back, back to normal shooting. We've got one more button on this side, and that's called the OK button. That's when you've gone in and set things in the menu particularly, and you want to accept those settings. You simply depress the OK button, 
and the setting that you've selected is now your option. Awesome. <laughs> well, let's move on to the other side of the camera.